Hello everyone. This is my very first video that I'm doing. I always post stuff on Facebook. Um, I get a little shy in the video, but anyway, I just want to do a video about this because this is getting really ridiculous. Um, well, in the Catholic Church, we all know that, well, many don't know, that the Catholic Church is using Jesus as a front for what they do. That they're really evil and they, they worship Lucifer. But anyway, and they abuse children to get more power and more money. But right now, Cardinal Pell is in the news. Because he is a um, Cardinal Pell, according to a leading Vatican expert, Leo Zagami. Um, Cardinal Pell is a senior Vatican official. Well, not an official, but he is a senior Vatican. He is the highest in the Catholic Church to ever be charged with child sexual abuse. Um, there are two justifications that the, the Catholic Church is using right now to justify pedophilia and, and the abusing sexual abuse of children. They're saying that this is a religious liberty that they have because, because oh God, this is, just, this is just too much right now. It's very hard to explain. Um, religious liberty, that's what they're using as a justification to sexually abuse these children. That's one. Number two, the second justification that they are using is that, which is, this is a lie, of course. They're saying that Jesus was a pedophile. They have to make up something. They have to make up some kind of why to justify these horrible atrocities against our, our, our innocent children. There is no justification. There is no excuse for hurting children. I don't care who you are. I don't care how much money you make. And I don't, do not care what kind of position you hold in this earth. You are going down in the name of Jesus. That's what I'm going to tell you. Do you hear me? There is no justification for abusing, for sexually abusing children at all. And the judgment of God is breathing down your neck. And if you do not stop what you're doing, you are going to endure the most horrific wrath of God for hurting little ones. But anyway, I just wanted to say this right now because since Donald Trump has been in office, there have there has been so many arrests of pedophiles and these pedophile rings. And this has happened because a lot of of this is coming to light and we are praying really really hard and God is hearing our prayers and a lot this is this is God's glory and we have to praise God we have to do praising God is the highest level of spiritual warfare and you take your praise to wherever cause that you need God to hear you whatever petition it may be that Whatever it may be, the more you praise God, the more he is going to fight the battle for you. He is going to go in there and he is going to have the enemy turn on themselves and they're going to destroy each other. That is what's going to happen. So now with that being said, get ready because they're all going to fall down very soon. We are going to set these children free in the name of Jesus because Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. And Jesus is the truth and the light and the way. 
and always use, you always use the Word of God as your source of truth. Because that is the only thing that is going to help you get through this world because there's going to be so many lies out thrown at you. There's going to be there's so much coming at you. That the only thing that is 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 your rock is Jesus. Your rock is God, the, your Father in heaven, the Word of God. That's solid, and and that's where your roots. That's where you should root in is the Word of God, and that's my advice. That's helped me because so much is going on right now that. You just have to keep your eyes on God. You have to keep your eyes on Jesus. And you have to listen to the Holy Spirit. And just stay with that. So this is my first video. And I'm doing this for the children. I'm doing this for the children. Be brave and courageous as God is, God tells us to do. Be very brave. Be very courageous. And God will make you as bold as a lion through the work of the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is in you. And he's going to get us through this. He's going to get us through this. And the children of God will inherit this earth. Not evil. We, we've already won, guys. We just need to pick up where Jesus left off. We need to pick up where Jesus left off. Hold our banner up high. And just, the power is in the name of Jesus. And the power is in prayer. God needs us to pray. God needs us to pray, and he's going he's gonna to show you where to go. He's going to show you where to go in this world. He's going to show you what you need to do. He's going he's gonna to help you say what you need to say. He's going to help you pray what you need to pray, because everything comes from God. And it's just so wonderful. So we're going to give lots of praise to God, lots of glory, praise Jesus, and just keep your everything centered on God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. And I thank you for watching. Please pray. Practice in praying more and practice in worshiping and praising God more. That's where it, everything is at. That's where you'll see your, the fruit of your prayers. Okay? Bye-bye.